Hi everyone, it's Kim Whaley, Simple Politics on this historic day. We just saw uh, the jury in Minneapolis return a verdict of guilty against former police officer Derek Chauvin in the mur murder of George Floyd uh, on three counts, second degree murder, third degree murder, and manslaughter. So the judge will sentence him in about eight weeks after some various motions. Important thing to keep in mind is government moved to revoke his bail and to send him to prison. And he almost reflexively put his arms behind him, his hands behind him, ready to be cuffed. It was kind of a, an important moment, I think, symbolically. We'll also have three other police officers whose trials are upcoming. They're charged with aiding and abetting that killing. So this uh, verdict obviously impacts them in ways that their lawyers are no doubt carefully, carefully considering. What, are, what does this have to do with or say about the broader questions of police reform and justice? I think there are two pieces here. One is reforming police systems and police incentives, how they're structured, whether police should be doing everything in society, dealing with people with severe mental dis, uh, disabilities, um, the domestic violence, as well as serious crime, as well as traffic stops. Maybe we need more resources and more expertise and to divide that power up in different ways. The second thing it do, I think it does and I have a piece coming out tomorrow in the bulwark on this, is it calls for reform of the laws themselves. We saw this in the Trump administration. How could he have obstructed justice if he's in charge of the Justice Department? That was the Mueller report, the second part of the Mueller report. I think what the Chauvin trial showed us in the last three weeks is this question of, listen, police officers have a lot of extra authority, of ability to use force that regular people cannot. We can't handcuff people. We can't use chokeholds. We can't put them in prone positions. Where does that line, uh, should that line be drawn between reasonable police force and murder? And I think legislatures across the country need to think about a different kind of criminal law for police officers so that we're not uh, on the edge of our seats again in this way. This is Simple Politics with Kim Whaley.